Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Chodzi again. I'm here in the studio with my good friend Dylan Guatizo. Uh, on the series of F Sharp, I'm going to take a look at the song Diani Pane Zamba. Diani Pane Zamba, Wafuze. Something like that. I'm not a good singer, but yeah. That's the song that I want to do. So, I'm going to play it and then we break down the chords. I'm not actually going to play the song as a whole, but I'm just going to show you the progression how the song moves. So, on the one. Like this, F sharp major six. Then we go to the four chord. Then we come back to the one again. Five. One. Yeah, so what I'm playing is um, a basic approach to this song is just a one, like this. And then go to the four chord. My four I'm playing is a major seven. On my left hand I have B, E flat, F sharp. Then on my right hand I have A sharp, B, E flat, and then G flat on top. Then we come back to the one chord. Like this. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And an A sharp on top, then we go to the five chord, then we come back to the one, like this. Uh, if you're probably in advanced or intermediate, you probably want to fast forward this video because at this point, we I think we'll try to put some timestamps so that maybe you can fast forward to the area that you want for, uh, to see. Back to the one. And then it goes to the two, then the one, then the five over seven, then the five, then to the four. So then we do a two. So one, two. My two is like this. On my left hand, I have G sharp and B. On my right hand, I have E flat. I have G sharp and B on top. Then back to the one chord. Then I have five over seven. Still, you can also move to the five like this, and then you move to the four, then you move to the three. My three is like this. I'm playing in F sharp major seven uh, with the with the with the drop two voice in drop two voicing because it's supposed to be like this, but now I. The second note to my uh, the second note to the highest I've played it on a lower octave like this, and then we go back to the four again. Then we do it two. We can also when we're on the two we can also do this move. We can do so let's say we are on the four. We said on the three, right? We are on the three. Then we do the four. Then we can do. We can also do this. Is that something? I know you have heard this uh, this move a lot. So yeah, we said uh, on the dream, drop two voicing to the four. Then we do. Yeah. So if you want to advance, the, maybe you're in an intermediate. You can also uh, include some extensions to the chord. So one, we want to move to the four chord. What we, what we can do to the four chord, to moving to the four chord, we can use this passing. I play a five chord on my right hand. This is just an inversion. Then on my left hand, I have this five chord in, in octaves. Then what I, what I would do here, I will move this. And I will move this one um, as a tone. And then I'll move th also this one a semitone, like this. So on my left hand, I just have an F sharp major seven chord. Then on my left hand, I'll play the E A sharp, 
then F sharp and then C sharp on top like this taking me to the four so what I'm doing is so we are on the one we, say we can do a two five one or we can do something like this we can also yeah then we move this five four four then to the four I hope you are getting this guys so we said on the one one right we want to go to the four chord we said we can use this so on the four chord and then we go to the one over five yeah so when we are going to the two uh now we want to go in, in, so you can also use it passing chord going to a two chord so we can I'm playing this as a diminished on my right hand I have C sharp diminished seven then on my left hand I'm just playing E flat I'm just playing an E flat minor chord like this so I want to go to my two chord so I can use the six chord I can use the five diminished over the six minor so What else can we do to this song? So the pro- uh, the the main thing that I want uh, for you guys is to catch the progression, and then you can try to mess around with these chords. So the progression is just a one. You go to the four. You back to the one. Then you go to the five. Then you get, come back to the one again. After this, when it says. You go to the two, the one, you go to the two, the one, then the five over seven, then the five chords, then to the four. Then you still on the four. On the four chord, then that's where you move to the three. And then we said we can use this passing chord. Um, I think basically that's all to the song. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. And also, maybe if yeah you have something that you want us to do on this song, maybe to illustrate or elaborate, uh, you just put it in the comment section. But um, I think probably yeah, that's all to this to this lesson. Thanks guys for watching.